Today it's going to be fun in learning a new lesson. What are you going to learn today, my child? Today we are going to learn a lesson called food. Where does it come from? That's good. Welcome back. This is Omesh this side and so today we are going to start a new lesson in science 6th class in CRT textbook. So the lesson title states that food. Where does it come from? Right? And what are the sources of food? So uh, starting the lesson with activity number 1. Here it's very simple. It just states that Ask your friends who belong to different states what they eat during a day and list it down in the table here, right? Uh, we have to list the food items they eat. Then moving on to this side of the page. Here, the important word here is ingredients. So the ingredients, what exactly is in the ingredients? Ingredient means... For example, we can take example of rice. To prepare rice, we need water and rice grains, paddy, right? Those are the ingredients to prepare boiled rice. Moving down, here activity 2. Activity 2 states that the food items listed in table number 1.1, which we have already done here. Prepare a list, what you have uh, done in 1.1 okay moving down to the next page so the next subheading is 1.2 food materials and sources what is it food materials right materials of food like rice wheat these are the materials and what are the sources like rice and wheat if we take rice and wheat come from plant sources plants we get them from plants Whereas when we take animals, animal products like eggs, butter, these all are called animal sources. This is all given here. So what are uh, here the examples of plant sources are given as rice and wheat and the animal sources like milk, eggs, meat, chicken, fish, prawns, beef, pork, etc. These are uh, products which come from animals. Right. Moving on. Activity 3 states that um, it states that these food ingredients like idli, chicken curry, kheer take some more food products, food items and list their ingredients and their sources. Right? Moving on to next page. Here it, it is even more clearly given that about the plant and animal sources. So we get the things like grains, cereals, vegetables and fruits from plants. So they are called plant sources. The products like milk, meat, eggs, etc. Are, we obtain them from animals. So they are called animal sources. So some common animals which give us milk are cows, goats and buffaloes. And milk and milk products like cream, butter, cheese, curd, all are come all come under animal sources. Moving on. Here, plant parts and animal products as food. Uh, as you have noticed, in many plants, we eat different parts of the plant. Like in spinach, we eat vegetable, leafy vegetable. Whereas in apple, etc., we eat fruits. In some, we eat roots like potato, etc. In some, we eat stems and even flowers. We eat even flowers. Like, right? This is a diagram to show that. This is important. Then, hang on. Uh, here, you can see the parts of a plant which are edible. What do you mean by edible? Eatable. The pl the parts of plants which we eat are called are called edible or eatable parts of the plant. Right? Like um, 
in banana plant we eat many parts right we eat the flower we eat the fruit we eat the stem etc whereas in potato plant we only eat the root like that um here in activity 4 it's just a simple activity um it states that whatever you have listed in table number 3 1.3 last exercise last activity differentiate them into plant plant parts right whatever the plant products are there in the last table take those plant products and list them into plant parts like fruit seed etc right moving on um, here activity 5 as you all know your mothers for soak the seeds many seeds into a kerchief or a cloth and put it overnight the next morning they will have roots or small parts like this right coming out protruding out these are nothing but sprouts they are called sprouts and the white part or the thing that protrudes out it is called sprouted it is known as the grains have sprouted right this is all here um, we normally use moong dal and chenna we sprout them then you have seen now bees buzzing near the flowers right why do they do that they do this to collect nectar in they do this to collect nectar which they then convert it into honey which we love a lot right and then what do animals eat right um, like there are different animals which eat different kinds of food products like a dog eats meat etc a cat eats fish etc and a buffalo here eats only grass grains etc like pigeons eats small insects etc like that then coming here this table states that the, here there are some animals and we have to tell what they eat like rat eats grains lion eats meat tiger eats meat spider eats other small insects house lizard eats same other small insects cow eats grass human beings eat all kinds of fruits and even meat butterflies eat nectar crows eat meat as well as some small insects others we have to note them moving up here comes an important topic of this lesson which is these three words herbivore carnivore and omnivore what the herbivore means is the animals which eat only plant products are called herbivores i repeat the animals which eat only plant products are called herbivore for example, we can take deer, cow, goat, buffaloes. These are examples of herbivore. Whereas carnivore, carnivore, carnivorous animals are the animals which eat meat. In Hindi, we call them mansahari prani, right? So these animals eat only meat. They hunt other animals and eat. For example, we can take lions, tigers, cheetahs, jaguars, panthers, etc. Coming to omnivores, omnivores are the organisms which eat both plant products as well as animal products. So the examples of omnivorous animals are bears, right? Bears, crows, humans. We eat both plant products as well as animal products. So in table 1.6, we have to differentiate or categorize the animals into herbivore carnivore and omnivore moving down with this um, our lesson has ended thank you if you like the video like it share it and subscribe to my channel